Hello everyone, this is Jack with the Mariah Mitchell Association. We're very excited to announce a brand new citizen science survey called the Nantucket Green Crab Survey. This survey will challenge community members to go out into our local waters and look for green crabs. Then if you fill out a data sheet and send it to us, we can track the movements and abundance of green crabs throughout Nantucket and hopefully use that data to plan new green crab activities and research. So let's get right into the video. The first thing you'll need to get started is a letter of authorization from the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries. To find that information, you can visit us at mariahmitchell.org. Go to Get Involved. Go to our Green Crab page. Once here, you can scroll all the way down to Additional Resources and click on Massachusetts Saltwater Fishing Regulations. This will include how to get a letter of authorization for collecting green crabs. Once you're at mass.gov, scroll all the way down until we get to Recreational Crab Regulations. And then you'll see here under Invasive Crabs, we get the directions of how to request a letter of authorization and the phone number and email to request a letter of authorization is on the screen now. The next thing we need is a copy of our data sheet. Once again we're going to go to get involved and go to our green crab page. Once here we'll scroll all the way down to Nantucket Green Crab Week 2020 and a link to our data sheet will be under the Wednesday events. You can also continue to scroll down to additional resources and you can click on Nantucket Green Crab Survey and Identification Guide. This should readily open in any browser on a computer or smartphone. Once here you'll see basic directions about how to complete the survey, the data sheet below, as well as an area of interest map that will show you the best places to do your survey in addition to the Nantucket Green Crab Identification Guide, which will help you distinguish the invasive European green crab from our native crab species. So let's go over the equipment you'll need to do a Nantucket Green Crab Survey. There are three methods of looking for crabs. The first one is wading in the water. For that, you'll need a hand net, a bucket, and a way to tell time. You can also collect green crabs with bait and a hand line. For that, you'll need some sort of rope as a hand line, and you'll need bait. Chicken drumsticks seem to work really well for this. The last method is to go snorkeling. If you go snorkeling, you'll need all of your snorkel gear, including your mask, fin, and snorkel. We also highly recommend you bring a dive flag, and a mesh bag works great for collecting crabs underwater. Now you can start the green crab survey. Make a note of your start time, and then try to look for crabs for at least 30 minutes. You don't have to follow a particular pattern when you're looking for crabs. Just collect as many as you can. Once you're done collecting, make a note of your end time and count your crabs. Now we can fill out the data sheet. Once you have it downloaded, fill out the fields to the best of your knowledge. If you don't know the tide, that's okay. We can look it up later and you can leave it blank. As an example, I'm filling out the data sheet for a survey I did recently. Once you're done filling out the data sheet, the easiest way to share it is by taking a screenshot with your phone or computer. Then all you have to do is start a new email, address it to jdubinsky at mariahmitchell.org, attach your file, and send it away. Then we'll enter it in our database. You can submit as many data sheets as you want. In fact, the more surveys you do, the better we'll understand how the green crab populations move around Nantucket. Thank you so much for watching this video, and be sure to check out the Mariah Mitchell Association and Nantucket Land Council websites for more information about green crabs and to view more events for Nantucket Green Crab Week.